Okay, Miguel, okay. if you want to do something with Act 151... Then... Yes, I'm, I'm gonna open that too. I can, I can engrave simultaneously! Yes, you can. Of course you can. Yay! I frequently do. I don't oh, but... because I'm running Linux on two cores and the heaviest files, uh, you know, I don't have enough memory. Uh, see, right. I'm, I'm, I'm running it on like eight processes, four cores, so... Yeah. <laughs> no, but the... the, the, the um... But with the batch file only engraves one at a time. Your batch file only engraves one at a time. Our batch oh, files because can't... Liam cares not about Windows. Because our yes, batch files can can do up to eight at a time. It's well, okay, I'll I, move. When I I rarely use the batch file because I can only do it single core. Ah. Because of my uh, RAM limitations. How much RAM do you have? Me. Yeah. Sixteen gig, formerly eight, and I've yeah. done it on as little as two. Really? I've done it on as little as two by shutting down graphical mode and dropping to pure like console mode Linux and diverting <laughs> all of the RAM to the engrave. Oh. Okay. Liam. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So maybe I could do that. You could probably just get away with it, yes. But uh, my problem is the, the cello files, the cello part files, mm -hmm. they are, uh, you know, they consume a lot of RAM and uh, the Adolva file, that one is insane as well. Well, if you need to conserve memory, the best thing to do is just to limit the number of threads, because that's why there's several different yeah, scripts for different numbers of cores. Because I was able to run the single core file perfectly well in graphical mode until I upgraded the machine to 4 gig of RAM, at which point I was able to run the dual core script, which, was, which maxed out its CPU. Then when I got this new laptop, or I was working delegating engraving to my other machine, I can run the full engrave script, no problem. Uh, my my problem with the dual core, which I could do, because I have two cores assigned to Linux, uh, is that it would max out the RAM that uh, I have. You can't just allocate it more? No, I'm actually allocating more than uh, the, the virtual box says it's uh, safe. Because I'm allocating, uh, I, I guess, two gigs. Ah, uh, yeah. you've, you've only got four. Yeah. Ah, uh, well. Uh, Liam. Mm -hmm. Between timidly and impassionately, page 11. In... First file of prologue. Mm -hmm. What uh, other so objectives we'll... can you come up with? Yeah, okay. tons of them. Hang on. We're not done They're yet. adverbs, They're... actually. Adver yeah. Yes. What, what I meant to Who say cares? is... Yes, is Me. that as night? So we have, after Igor Zwickan and the Gara Master pit their armies against each other, we have, as night falls over Clock Town, Cafe and Andrew separately prepare the wedding masks. Thing is, the whole. W w this is a projection, remember? We, we started this with projection. And then it stops, and we are here timidly. Where everything stops, we are in the, in the echoes of the Tam Tam. Mm -hmm. We have the flute singing the, the Stone Tower theme. <laughs> and then the piccolo again. Piccolo doing the same thing. And then sl and slowly we go to the love theme, which gets to impassionately, etc. Now, just like we said, the view displays Ikana before. Yes. Uh, we, is it good enough to say night falls over Clock Town? Or yeah, that would be fine because I mean the libretto makes clear the way that sequence change sort of executes, and this is just placement, really. It's immediate. It doesn't really because it's, the libretto says Eagles we can and the Gara Master pit their armies against each other. Period. Then line break. As night falls over Clock Town, Captain and Andrew separately prepare for. Work. So the. Hmm. We could say the view displays. I think. I think. Because the transition is quite abrupt, I think it's. Um, I think you could say night falls over clock town, and then because I think Cafe and Andrew would not appear until impassionately, impassionately, or like one or two bars before. Certainly not at ten. Yeah. Yes. 
So what I mean is, uh, we should say Nightfall of the Clock Town. Do we need to say that there's a quick cut? No, we don't. Not really. I think I think the music makes that pretty clear. Okay. So what I now have to do write. is count lots just... of bars. I'll count them. For you. <laughs> I can go. count. <laughs> I am near. Can you? I'll count faster. So, what is the, uh, okay, Windows batch file, let me see. So it's from 68. 31! Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Just scroll up and use your finger. Oh, old school, okay. are you? Oh yeah. I count one number at a time, it's faster than doing calculations in my head. Uh, I always did that. I sucked at, at, at doing calculations. I, I use my fingers all the time. I'm good at if doing I calculations. Suck. It's just like like quarter to two in the morning. Yes. I don't give a fuck about calculations and I use my fingers as well. <laughs> so Miguel, where are you in Act 1? Uh, file 1, as you know, we're stuck in all files. No, uh, sorry, where one, are you so. in Act... where were we in File 1? Uh, beginning of the choir. Uh, yeah, before the choir comes in, the male choir. If I remember correctly, the arrow was the thing. <laughs> Is that the bass part? <laughs> no, it's just like, the melody, but sang in a really beautiful way. Alright, night falls over clock time. Like this. Oh, another hey. airplane! Hang on. Night falls over clock time, correct. The next bit is, Kathleen and Andrew separately prepare their wedding masks. Um, Eleven. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, the same way we we said that um, the view climbed clock tower before, mm -hmm. we can in fact say instead of as not instead of night falls over clock tower, we can say. The, f the view descends over Clock Town as night falls. How about that? Sure. That's what you you actually write there. So the view descends over Clock Town as night falls. Then at eleven, indeed, we write this. Okay, meanwhile, have I come back? Come back. Oh, uh, the harpist sent me the files, by the way, Miguel. With comments, if you want to look at them. The harp is what? The harpist. Harp player. Yeah. The harp, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Sent me the files with annotations. All right. Uh, can you share that with me? Uh, the yes, sync I can. folder? No, I'll just put it on Skype, it's light. I've complement type. Here. Small enough to need the same folder. It has already opened. What the fuck is that blue thing? Oh, okay. Oh, cool. The first one to sell in this was the name of the club. Okay. 
What? Na primeira anotação, que é na segunda página, ela tá engana-se logo no nome da clave. First annotation, second page. Yes, um. Sim, mas. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure I understood that line, actually. Uh, uh, I, what she's saying is that at this pace, it's not recommendable to write the both notes. Um, but there's no there's no simultaneous notes. I'm not con understanding that. In the in the lower staff. The C sharp and the G. C sharp and the G. What C sharp? Bar twenty two yeah. of the harp. There's one C sharp at the last the last triplet, yes? There's one C sharp, right? Yes. And uh, above it, there's a G. Okay, why is that? I don't understand. That's something I don't understand about it. Uh, okay, they're because... both treble clef. They're both treble clef, right? Yes, really yes. Treble clef. So, uh, what don't you understand? What I don't understand is, I'll give you an example. Uh, if you go to page... Because she says here the same thing here. Page five, bar 152. Yeah. yeah. Same situation as bar 22, which is exactly those lower notes, the lower, the lower minims, dotted minims, along yes. with the eight notes. The eighth notes above. It's like it's too fast for that. Oh, the eighth it's... notes on the, the eighth notes on the top hands. Yeah, you either have the eighth notes or the bottom uh, dotted minims. I see. see. Well, then, 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 yes, we have to remove the repetition. What repetition? Of the right hand, just one note. Dun. Okay. Ding, dun, dun, yes. Kill all those, all of them. Meanwhile, that's an Act 1, right? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, yes. Liam, where are you? I've just put in Cafe and Juice separately prepared their wedding masks. Uh, uh, Miguel, can you add that to For Jesus, please? For Jesus, yes. For our Lord and Savior. Our Lord and Savior. <laughs> <laughs>